Good day welcome. Gonna do some more mowing. So here we are. Please hit that like, follow, and share. Be awesome if you did that because you know it helps us done. And then I will put this pole up here because everybody likes a good pole. And I made a special thumbnail, so it was a few minutes late, but you know, couldn't resist. And I'll just make sure I got the sound. And I made a special thumbnail, so I got the sound. Sounds like sound to me. All right, where am I? Where's my live producer? There we go. There we go. We are. Continue our company. We mowed. Had three contracts, I guess. So here we go. Star mowers. You can upgrade. For 1500, I guess. We got 1508. We should probably wait to upgrade, I guess. Uh. We don't have enough money for a company, I don't think. We will go to the map and do a contract. Old Nook Cottage at three and a half stars. The gardens, the gardens. I don't know, let's try this one, I guess. Hopefully it's not too hard. Here's our faithful night nice mower. That one is working well, thank you so much. It's always good to check and the follow age what's uh logan's follow age here 302 days holy crap justin's follow age justin's follow age on there too 421 days yes more grass cutting <laughs> i don't know why i just saw that that's weird huh but yeah more grass cutting so get her get her done man wearing my blue jays shirt we got an election going on over here right now so you know like the polls just closed where i live and they're already rolling in results from the east coast look at that we got to work around a shed what you got to do to look for the crap is there any garbage? Okay, we don't want whatever that was. You been playing it much, Logan? A three out of six. The weed. Got a tractor here? What's going on with that, eh? Got some good pictures I should put on Instagram one of these days. I put some some already some stuff already on Instagram recently, but I got some more. I actually went to like an orchard thingy and um, rode a tractor ride and and uh, oh, fed some goats and crap, you know, like. Man, those goats. So they're, you know, they got these little pedal, uh, you know, pellets for 25 cents. Teen, right? And those goats, they know what's up. They don't care about you until you, you got those pellets in your hand. And the one goat pushes the other goat out of the way, you know, they're all ready. It's like, holy crap, man. That's like the best ever. Like... Primo on the goat list, apparently. Grass is yellow and worn out, eh? They need some fertilizer and seeds. Gotta be careful here. We, I assume we don't want to take up that stuff. Where's that last? Crap, man, I don't see it. 
I could take better care of his lawn, though. Good thing he's hiring me. I don't know where this last one is. Justin checking his follow age now. 429 days. Guys got the weeds. Yeah, it was kind of fun. I could, took some good pictures actually. And if you're in my Discord, I put some pictures of uh, food I had there. And I put some pictures. I was away at a, a wedding there on the one day there. And I took some pictures of stuff there for food there as well. And then. I got some pictures on my phone still that I haven't done anything with yet. I don't know where this last piece of stuff is, man. I only got a minute 43 to find it. Hidden good, wherever it is, eh? Where's Waldo, the piece of garbage? 25 times is ticking. Where or where would you be if you're a piece of litter? Run around. Run around like a loop de loop. Fifty two seconds. I I don't know where this garbage is, man. Wherever it, it's hidden, it's not very big. Oh, we're lucky. We're lucky. All right, let's go start the mower. <clears throat> now, what what do they want the cut at today? That. It's seven centimeters currently. <coughs> oh, they want it seven to eight centimeters. All right. We can do that. Joe and Justin, thank you for liking Azam earlier for following and Josh earlier for following. They say seven to eight centimeters. I guess we're doing seven centimeters. Keep going here. Gotta get on the grass. We're gonna start the mower up on the trailer. Gauge blades. Press X to engage. Okay, X to start the engine. You couldn't even see it? No, it's tough, that's one. I think it said seven. Seven to eight centimeters. Well, come on, man. Let's get going. 
Time's a ticking. Cover. I didn't know I could feel the fuel. Huh. How about that, eh? How do you get back on now? Guess we gotta go up. Tension. Try that again, I guess. Press X to engage and disengage the cutting blades. All right, seven's good. Go right for this cabin here. Man, this grass is real long. It's working the mower, eh? Dustin, thank you for liking. right off, eh? Your yard sucks, dude, so I'm gonna mow the whole bush. There we go. We've done one loop now. Careful right here. Oops. Go down a bit. See that? And we will 
little turn. Look at that. It's like a golf course almost now. Finish that one off when we get around. Keep that trigger only partially pulled down. I wonder if you could use the steering wheel on this. That'd be kind of cool. I didn't even think of trying that. My racing wheel, you know. That probably get Justin interested, eh? He could use his uh, steering wheel. Pretend to mow the lawn. Jesse, thank you for liking. Much appreciated. Don't want to mow over their crap. But we do want to mow around their crap. Tractor right here. Stuck on the tractor. Oops, that probably didn't do any wonders for my tractor. For my thing, I mean. It jolts so badly when you hit stuff, eh? My real life mower doesn't do that. Those considered. Oh no, they are. Okay. Lots of grass here, eh? Alright. We'll get the rest of that later, I guess. These guys have let it grow a while, you know. They had to hire a company to to help help out around the yard here. Couldn't see there. I went up course in the game. But... get along the wall here, eh? Zoom camera there for a second.
All right, here we go. We're doing it. Oh, better slow down. I bet you, you guys weren't expecting that, were ya? Good day, Julian. How are you? Thank you for liking. All right, here we go. I did a, a reverse mobile move on ya. Oh, we gotta slow down. We don't wanna... That thing's caught in the mower here, you know. That would be bad. All right. Look at that, eh? Smooth as a baby's bottom. You know? What do you think, Julian? Would you trust me to shave your face? Look at that, eh? Oh, jeez. Get back a bit there. I wonder if there's like an equivalent game to this, except for like face shaving, eh? You know, the, you can have a competition, the winner gets to work at Tommy Guns or something. There we go, eh? Pretty good, I figure. Oh, I get this part. Hey Julian, you should look up to see if this game, Lawn Mowing Simulator, is compatible with the steering wheel. Okay? You think that'd be the ultimate game to play with the steering wheel? Oh. All crazy there for a second. I think it is. Oh, I should have plugged my steering wheel in. What am I doing, eh? That's a lot of work plugging the steering wheel in. I got to drag the thing across the floor. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Got a little uh, over ambitious there, eh? You're overloading the mower. Mow this lawn and be right back. I bet you wish you could be relaxing this yard while I mowed, you know. You know how they have those theories of, you know, you get sucked into a video game. You know. The games that I play probably wouldn't be too bad. Well, Conan, I probably wouldn't want to get sucked into. I mean, you know, that'd be come out hard actually but uh I mean you know being sucked into the world of lawn mowing simulator I mean how bad can that get Conan I you know you get attacked by like dogs and stuff 
zombies. You very good with that tree there, eh? Let's just mow around the tree when I can't see. There we go. Camp places. Man, if we get like 10 bucks per lawn or something, it'd be awesome. Really easy to overload because this grass is really high. Keep the right speed. Don't go too fast. Don't go too slow. Otherwise, you'll leave a pile of grass or something. Who wants a pile of grass there? They're paying the big bucks to have Star mowing. Okay, look at that, you know. If I could take this, have this guy mow without a shirt, probably be a good mod, eh, for Facebook? Lawn mowing sim with no shirt. Very serene neighborhood we're in. Okay. Trees probably sufficiently mowed around. Nope. Lower down. Look at that cut. Or a butcher. That'd be a prime slice. Yes, and it seems like stress to set up. Oh, really? I'll just plug and play? Crap. Is that for Xbox or computer? I'm playing on, on an Xbox right now. Maybe they'll patch it up. Yo, the controller's vibrating to simulate a lawn mowing. You guys can't tell that part, so I'll probably express it to you. It's not like heavy, but... You know, it kind of adds to it a little bit, you know, as you're... You know, when you push a mower and stuff, you know, it's usually... Like that. Okay, 
Are you just bugging by for Xbox? Hopefully. Oh, 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 oh. Better slow it down. There you go. By the way, if you guys are interested, I did add some pictures to Instagram. Don't look there often. There, there's some new ones, and there will probably be some new ones coming soon. Because I went to a place where there's some cool pictures I could take. You know, I got to sit on a tractor, and that picture turned out good. I'll probably post that one. Uh, got to feed some goats and stuff. It's like this thing that's kind of on the way between here and there kind of thing. You know how those places are. It's usually touristy things, you know. A good pie. In my Discord, there's a picture of the pie I ate. You like pie? Fresh. You go on a little train tour and then you get to pick your own apple off of a apple tree thing. And then, uh, you know. Oh, you can kind of ride you around the orchard. Your neighbor? My neighbor should try this game because when. Actually, I got a new neighbor now, but they don't mow the lawn either. But, uh, yeah. I had, like, uh, one neighbor before that was, like. They would let that lawn go really tall. And it was all dead and stuff. This this lawn is just dead. My na current neighbor. But it's not really tall dead. Like mow it once a year. There's only three. Like three feet tall, yeah. I think they should really, you know, probably buy a lawnmower. Whoever owns that place. I don't know if it's like, if they sold it or not, though. They're going to sell it. And then, uh... And they were, um... Like renovating for sale, but I don't know if it actually sold or if they just got new renters. But definitely pretty awesome having the longest lawn beside mine. I don't want them to break it, that was long. I had that happen before actually. Um, I kind of had this wild stretch in this place I moved into, and, uh, I decided to try to weed whip it with my weed whipper at the time, and it burned my weed whipper out. You know, because it's so long, it just wrecked it, smoking and stuff. So I've gone through like three weed whippers now. Burning out one. Another one kind of burned out. They don't last as long, I guess. My mower's a long time. Uh, I have I have my same lawnmower a long time. It's like Craftsman lawnmower. Craftsman, that's a Sears brand, right? That's the one I... I, uh, I have. So it's like a defunct brand, I guess. Still works. Do 
Cheers doesn't exist. See you later. All right. So thanks for coming by, Walt. Oh, hey, I saw somebody that you know I'll tell you about in time. Man, it's a little bumpy in that one spot, I guess, eh? Get voices on this lawn, eh? Look at that tree. Oh, we're gonna slow her down a bit. Get a little wild gas pedal. Apparently this game went up in price or something because I thought I bought it for around 20 bucks and Howard was here yesterday and he was saying it's like 40 Canadian But then Logan was saying that it was 25 at one point so I might have got lucky We got it when it was like on good discount or something You know, like sometimes they put games are over deeper when they first come out. Hey Chris, good with you. I'm like cutting the lawn. These make it hard to see though. It's all crazy with my gas pedal when I run under tree for the camp for a minute. Good good mileage on this mower. Same thing, different day. Yeah, I decided to play some more. Having a good time mowing, you know. Kind of relaxing. You know, and, and plus, you know, in those Facebook quizzes, like if you got stuck in the last video game you played, you know, you gotta be having played a not so dangerous one or something, you know, you to get that quiz. The problem I'm having with those Facebook quizzes right now is, you know, it's saying that I'm being rescued by, by the last TV show I saw. Well, I'm in trouble. I don't remember what the last TV show I saw was, but it saved me very well. Yeah, I pooped around, didn't I? Doesn't matter what direction I'm going. No, um, this is a different different uh, lawn. I don't know if you repeat the lawns or not. It looks like some of the ones are the same name, but I guess, you know, they grow back and stuff, so probably play this game forever. You could keep mowing. As long as you don't do a crappy job, they rehire you. Sometimes if you do a crappy job and you're the only one available, they rehire you anyway, I guess. This should be a Mini gear in Grand Theft Auto. I just don't have that. That and Zamboni. I'd like to do Zamboni version. I 
would be pretty fun. That'd be good. Drive it down bowling. Alright, let's take care of end part here. There we go. They're keeping an eye, an eye, uh, eyeball on the Canadian election. Polls just closed in BC, I think. They closed seven Pacific. That our gas gauge is going like crazy here. Get that closer part it's here. There we go, eh? Pretty sweet. All right, very precise. Mowing job right here, gotta be careful. Oh, look at that. Kobe, thank you for liking, much appreciated. Bay is going well. Turn this way. Look at that. Doing a mathematically geometrically good job. Well, thank you so much. Probably geometrically, but trying to be efficient about it anyway. You know, there's things on the lawn here, like small buildings. That's a difficulty, I guess. 
guess they don't necessarily want you after you're done. There we go, right? And the trick is you can't overdo it too. If you go too fast, the more more will struggle. Close though. Since I watched you play such a casual game, not to mention a simulator. Well, there you go, eh? This is not a casual simulator, though, man. People take lawnmower business pretty darn seriously. gonna run out of gas here. Oh look at that. Here we go. The wheelie here. Oops, I haven't put tire prints in the grass. Ninety-nine point three percent. This must be the last stretch. Okay, ninety-nine point four. Need a more of a bigger gas tank. Though. Cutting complete. Well, I mean, we might as well finish it, really, right? small mark. There's plenty I missed, I'm sure. If we hold down the right stick, we can see all the little patches I missed, eh? So, get that one. Get those two. You can see there's some here and there. One over there, I can see it. Gotta figure out where my vehicle is now. One tank of gas, though. Look at that fine job. What an awesome job. There's a notification in the corner, but I can't read it. There we go. Hey, I bet you wish I was your lawnmower. It is a summer job before. Back in the day. Ground objects destroyed. What? Collisions. Oh, darn it. They didn't like me smashing into their stuff.
achievement! Incredible. Earn the company RP of Credible. Nice, man. We're, we're credible. What's this say? Hiring employees. We can hire people. Okay, here's an applicant. Penelope Waters. Likes to... What thinks mushrooms should be banned? Drinks too many energy drinks. There you go. Let's go to the garage and fix our thing. Car's got to repair. 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 Because we keep our 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 vehicles maintained here at Star Mowing. So we can upgrade. We can purchase, we can do ads. Um I don't think it's a good idea to hire Penelope quite yet because you know we don't have two mowers. Alright, we'll upgrade though the building. So I don't know what that does exactly. <clears throat> but, you know. Alright, so where do we want to go next? Front garden? Mow the front lawn here. See me mowing. Be me. That mo. You see that? We're gonna kick the butts. This garden. Got some pretty harsh corners, eh? Lots of trees and crap. All right. You know what you gotta do first, though, when you go to mow. Look for. Crap on the lawn. Look at there's a garden gnome here. Giant scissors. That probably wouldn't do our blades any good. Is this it? Do I gotta oh I gotta do back back lawn too here. Tricky, eh? that dark in here eh <clears throat> there we go that'll help well, there's one more thing somewhere here We found her. Perfect. Let's go get the mower. Safety first, you know. Got like a grill. I thought it was a drafting table at first. I wonder if they do different heights sometimes. Alright, what do we got? 
There we go. Always do this front lawn first, eh? There we go, Fire Devil. Thank you for liking. Go up a bit. There we go. Mow the car. Oh, crap. I'm getting a ding for a collision. You know what, though? A little bit uneven now, probably. There. Don't want no uneven lawn. I'll be zinging the car with some rocks here, eh? I'm mowing the front lawn. See my thumbnail today, Colby? Weird Al Yankovic. Hopefully somebody saw it. You didn't click live on the notification, brought me. Oh, okay. Oh, I ran over a flower. You're gonna be angry. We get in a small flower bed in the middle of your lawn. There. You only killed one flower, eh?
There we go. We don't need the mower on for while well, we drive to the backyard. Put a blade on or whatever. I'll turn it back on. Walter, thank you for liking. American dream right here. Get to mow these big old lawns. Canadian dream would be the snow plow. This guy's got a lot of flowers, man. Mow the flowers. I get charged for them though. I don't want to pay for their darn flowers. You got certain mowers too. You gotta pick up your grass after. I'm a mulching mower. charged if you even tag that building a little bit. Super careful. You know you're you're mowing the rich rich people's lawns here. You don't want to like, pay for their crap. I think, you know, I could probably justify, you know, if you're have a big enough driveway to get the, some company to shovel your driveway. But for that lawn to push more, probably would be better, eh? Um, but, you know, if you're hiring a lawn mower, you got to have a heck of a lawn. Imagine using scissors, like actual school scissors, to cut the lawn. Oh crap, you see that? You didn't see that. Yeah, that'd be rough to have to use scissors, eh? I think this lawn would be a little easier with a non ride a mower, but on that choice. Oh, geez, eh? Hooked ourselves. Probably gonna see some vines at the end for that too. Plus repairs.
we go. I think I did that spot earlier, man. Save some, save the time there. Hard to see the difference. The lawns here. go that's some fine mowing I think eh a lot easier now so I gotta do a flower bed one of these rounds here coming up comes the flower bed I think soon here's the flower bed I don't know if it'd be easier to attack from this side or not That. That's some fine trimming around that flower bed. You can rip up the ground too if you turn too fast with your blades on.
And I, you know, you almost forget there was a front lawn that I did do, eh? Come along, eh? I think I will miss some. I probably did miss it over there. They should make an esports lawn mowing game, eh? Tell the difference between the shadows here. Ninety seven percent done. Must be getting better at this. I'm not like constantly always running out of gas.
There we go, we're considered done. We'll do that once in a while. way back. Highway way back. Oh, look at that. Smell that cut grass. Smell it. Makes me thirsty. A fine job of cutting the grass. Damaged our blade a little bit, but whatever, man. We'll fix it and set the record for the amount of maintenance done. Engine's good. We didn't damage the engine that time. Oh, so Hydra, thank you for inviting your viewers. There we go. Fuel it up. What kind of jobs are out there? There's only one and a half stars. Old Nook Cottage. The money into Facebook advertising. How much money do we have? This one's five days for 500 bucks. So it's like a way better deal than the social media. But it only, only gives 140 per day. There we go. Front garden, isn't that one I just did? That one's 235. That one's actually more RP. So let's do that one. Get the RPs in. I didn't I don't think I did this house. Bunch of little lawns, eh? I want that there. This one probably wouldn't be too bad actually. Like a bunch of squares, but the bottle out here. Scissors. 
Got a pretty sweet car, it looks like, eh? Alright. Uh, what do they want for six to seven centimeters? Start right here, I guess, eh? high on the throttle there for a second. Okay, we can get this one done in no time, this middle is fat. Funny corner.
Getting too small, man. There we go, eh? Funny cut patterns, what can you say? This is it, you know, here we go with the two more swipes and then this side line will be done. of it is so right over here oh, obviously I'm over here big and Go smooth turn. Or two more wipes on that one. Eh? I 
Not quite as big as my mower blade. Your long is long, you'll all solve it. Guys, I need some more lawn puns. <coughs> Excuse me. Hope no one has any allergies to grass cut clippings. to see the difference between cut and uncut here. Really keep an eye out. The shadows kind of trick you a little bit sometimes here. And after a while it becomes like it's like looking at one of those those pictures, you know, where you gotta stare at it for a while. See what the actual picture is. That's like a bunch of lines otherwise. I hope that's a worldwide thing. Getting this lawn under control, man. Very nice. Oh, 
we went a little overboard there. Easy. Eh? There's some spots too. Tom, thank you for liking, much appreciated. Right, we're getting this lawn right. Drag them. Do you plan on trimming this video? I will make a clip. <laughs> ah! I'm a little bit behind on my YouTube clips and stuff though, holy crap. I usually put it one out a day and I've been busy so I got a whole bunch lined up for Facebook but You know, you gotta you only have so much time in a day. Teamwork. Good. All right, we need the action shot day eh, in this game. That was deceptive, though. They wind up throwing you off the line a bit. You know, like in Conan, what clip is obvious. You no, know, there's good bosses, like mad. But these are boss lawns, man. I don't know, I'll think of something. One handed. There we go. Back to two hands. I'm mulching this grass as I go, it's going all over the place. Sounds like a 3D, man. This sweetness, we have 98% done. Change down? No, I moved it up a bit so I could see a bit. But I mean, you can change it around, you can flip it around if you want. There we go, it's saying cutting complete. Yeah, I just went from like this angle to. The back one. Uh, 
right. Get out of here. We did it right, man. This Tyclone told me something. Said that you don't have to actually back onto the trailer. There. Ooh. Ah. Ooh. Could be a bugger to water those, eh? They're all separate, too. How's the election looking, Julian? Keeping up with that? And we're gonna have another minority government? Kind of tired. I'm still worn out from the weekend a bit. Got damaged by blades again a bit. I guess maybe they get damaged a little bit every time. Okay. <laughs> Those cutscenes are my highlights, yeah. It's like hockey, the replay on off day. Alright, let's repair. You know, what you gotta do is you gotta gas up. You don't know if uh, minority or liberals are coming ahead. I think they need, what, 290 seats or something? Apparently, BC uh, is one of the battlegrounds this year. Although my area is typically, you know, it's been the same MLA for like 20 years, I think. You know, that's the thing, you know, in Canada, people don't realize, you know, they, they think of the head honcho, right? Justin Trudeau, O'Toole, and stuff like that. But. You know, they're actually voting for the local guy. So, you know, as far as it goes, because that, that's a little different than other countries. Um, I'm, I'm on the interior of BC, so it's all it's been conservative for years. But, so they vote for the local rep, right? And then they complain when things don't change, even though, you know... They vote for the same local rep year after year after year after year. So, I mean, you know, if, if you know, all these people are saying that, uh, you know, they're not happy with whoever, right, is in charge, but they, uh, you know, but they have to realize they're also voting locally at the same time, too. So, I mean, if you're a person that you've been voting in for, like, literally, it's been the same lady for 20 years or more. It's been forever. But, you know, every time, it doesn't matter. It's been government, two different governments in that time, and they're unhappy with whoever it is at the time, but they vote in the same rep all the time. So, you'd think... You'd want to vote for a different local rep. You know, if you don't like what's going on in the country, you know, you want a rep that actually really speaks for your area, you know? So, so that's the thing, you know. It's, that's one different thing about Canada. They don't, a lot of people don't really think about. You've been liberal and NDP forever. Oh, there you go. She is content with winning help when she can sort of the thing is is that you know i've seen my rep on you know that you look at the parliament channel 
all she ever does is sit and look on her phone. So I don't know. I don't know how helpful I am. Complains about stuff, you know. That, uh, you know, it's not, not introducing ideas. But, you know, that's the thing. You know, if, uh, I'd, I'd, I'd like a rep that really, you know, if your area has some sort of problems, they should really bring it up. You know, and keep at it. Even if it, even if you're not matching the, the government, the winning government. <laughs> and my riding is judging. But yeah, the, she's been the same one. She finally retired though, so you never know who's going in, in my riding now. So, uh, so I don't know. I think that uh, I'd like to see whoever the new person is in my area. Hopefully, they actually represent my area because you know I didn't like that the other one just sat on the phone and did nothing. You know, maybe she did some background stuff, but I mean. There's some, you know, there's some that rise, you know, like, they rise up, you can tell they're pretty active, you know, and that's either side, you know, there's, there's some, as much as I've been NDP majority of my life, our representative has been vocal, see, that's a good thing, right, you know, and it shouldn't matter what you are as the citizen. You know, if you if you give an you know, if you give your your rep your what you know things that you need, then then hopefully no matter what they are, they they represent everybody there, you know. So I'd like to see NDP do well. You know, they're 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 good, but the problem with the NDP doing well is it kind of splits it up a bit too, you know. So in some ways, it's good that, uh, you know, the conservatives have some competition too. And it's not like two thirds of the people voting for the left and then, uh, then the right winning, you know, or something like that. It should be nice and even. It'd be nice if, you know, I don't know if I really like the people's party, but uh, it'd be it'd be nice in, in the aspect of at least maybe they'll steal some votes from from the conservative and then everybody doesn't have to strategically vote all the time but uh, the one good thing if anything about this last two years is that you know the NDP being a liberal minority the NDP was pulling the liberals left so as far as it goes um, you know, they were bringing in some policies that the NDP would like to see and, you know, and that, that was good in, in that way because the NDP hasn't won on their own, the big show. The closest they came was Jack Layton. You know, they did really, really well with Jack Layton, but, uh, um, it'd be nice, uh, nice to see the ideas of these different um parties can come up i like the i like the minority government because they can't just do their own policy then and uh um as far as it goes i guess you know if we wind up with another minority government it's probably better for us than a majority in 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 some ways people don't like minorities but minority governments rather but uh, in some ways they are good because it's then there's a little more ideas at the table too but uh, see what happens yeah he was in line line for a big jump before death that's right smiling Jack that's my my parents used to call him Exactly, so it's win, win with me, mine gets in, yay. But usually liberal mine riding does kill us. 
But you know, at least there's somebody at the table there. That's the thing, you know, with the Liberals being the top party, they're, they're uh, like the winning party last time, technically. Um, the ones in charge. I mean, at least your your division is representative or represented. Mine, like I said, mine's been solid conservative. In the interior of BC, it's always in British Columbia. It's always like the coast is um, either NDP or Liberal, and then the interior is almost always conservative, and then Alberta is heavily conservative. So it's like uh, so in the interior here where I am. They, they, they just haven't changed forever and then they just complain and then we never have a seat at the table either you know they're just because you know if uh, you know if your MP doesn't do anything then uh, um, I like Jagmeet though he's alright you know he's got his uh I think he's true to the NDP vision. Even, did you see? I don't know if you saw it, but um, I might have mentioned that to you. I can't remember. But uh, Bernie Sanders endorsed him. You know, like, uh, which uh, is unusual. Usually the Americans don't say anything about ca Canadian politics, but hey, you had uh, Bernie. Bernie say he likes jag meat. Um, and Andrew, Andrew uh, Weaver, who was the Green Party leader before, endorsed Trudeau. In a way, and how their their climate plan was better than the Greens. That's a party that kind of fell apart. That was really strong in BC up for a little bit there. Or strong, or not strong, but growing a little bit. Old Elizabeth May. Trying to pick up the pieces puzzle, pieces of puzzles that previous leaders left him. Yeah, Mulcair, I mean, he was alright, but he, uh... I liked, uh, I liked Jagmeet definitely better than Mulcair. And, of course, I think it was Jack before that. I can't remember now. But NDP was kind of different ideas but everybody hates the NDP you know they all gang up on them and then liberals are actually aren't that much different than conservatives they they're a little bit lefter but than the conservatives but they're still center and then uh, conservatives are still center but a little bit right um, so you know the, the idea of a left government going over we we'll always complain about socialism and stuff like that but I mean I think the NDP could bring some fresh ideas to the table, so that's where them having a minority government at least gives the NDP some say, which is, is not a terrible thing. It's always good to have some fresh ideas. That's the main thing. House of Hydra, Chris, thank you for liking. But, you know, we'll get whoever we get, and hopefully... They handle the remainder of COVID. COVID well. <laughs> um, oh, we got stars for star. Thousand. Fox News contributor Joe Concha. Uh, Congressman, I don't think you're gonna shove the marbles up your ass. Nah, I'm not gonna do that at all. I mean, first of all, I recorded that clip right there off of Fox News. It's the kind of thing Fox News talks about. Marvels. Up the rear. That's a reference to um, a Nicki Minaj tweet. Uh, one of them. First she was talking about that, you know, that COVID makes your her cousins uh junks or no her cousin's friend junks well then she was saying how the reporters that will have marbles up their butts if uh if the government says so or something 
quite an interesting exchange on Twitter there these days. When somebody with 200 million followers does some weird crap. Is it called Vancouver Center? Is what called Vancouver Center? I don't want to really say where I am, but I'm in the interior of BC. Not, I'm not near the lower mainland. Abu, thank you for liking. Much appreciated. But if that's what you're referring to, I'm not sure what Vancouver Center is actually. Or an area, unless you mean like an area voting area or something like that. But yeah, Vancouver's quite a hike for me. But yeah, it's uh, we'll see what happens. Other riding area. I don't know Vancouver. What? I think uh, Jag Meat. I think his um. His riding is uh, Burnaby. He's in. Yours is called Nickel City. That's kind of a cool name. Well, until they stop making nickels, but. Do they make nickels still? They stopped making pennies. I know you can't get pennies anymore. Pretty good music in this game, eh? See, and then you pick the different places to mow. And as your RP goes up, I think you get more, even more choices. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Using a slide guitar or something, eh? You know, if they didn't weren't so strict on music, you know, I'd, I'd pull out the old uh, Rocksmith Sudbury riding. Oh, it's not called Nickel City. Yeah, the problem with my there, the reason I don't narrow down where I am exactly is because you know it's easier to narrow down it's not a huge city so I try to keep it general that I'm on the interior of BC always been something I did I don't know how big your your place is but I mean there's lots of population there so and your name's a little more common Lots of Bergeons out there. Not that I expect anybody would ever go up or whatever, but you know. No, it's it's a pretty small riding. I think. I don't know. What's a big riding? I don't even know how big normal ridings are, so. There's, uh, I, I can't remember how, 42 seats in BC or something? You know, the bad part about BC voting, I'll tell you right now, Julian, and you're part of the problem is that uh, by the time our polls are closed, there's already results in, you know? Like, you know, like the decision doesn't come down to BC normally. You know, once Ontario and Quebec vote, you know, it's pretty clear who's winning. So, I mean, you know, you practically, you know, it's practically not even, You know, your vote almost doesn't count sometimes, you know, unless it's like a super close election, you know, like, because Quebec and Ontario have more votes each 
than like the whole west coast, you know? And then because of our time zone, it's election is almost mostly decided before it even gets over here. Just announce everything the next day. They don't though, they, you can see it on the news and stuff. You know? I mean like, uh, you know, 7 o'clock Pacific time is 10, 10 p.m. Eastern time, right? So, but I mean, literally, you can see on, like, I was watching some of the the East Coast votes rolling in be before our polls closed. But they're not going to announce nothing the next day. They, they, those guys want to be on top of it. They want to, they want to let everybody know. You know, in the states, at least, you know, for them, you know, like California has a lot of seats. So, you know, where, but the thing is, is that British Columbia doesn't. It, you know, I don't remember how many seats are in Ontario, but there's a lot. There's a lot, man. Just postpone, postpone the counting. Yeah, I, I don't know. It's nice for them to get it done, but. But that's why also you always talk, hear Alberta and uh, some British Columbians complaining about how our vote doesn't count. You know, they, they want to get equal votes. Although, you know, the Ontario population is like totally huge compared to, compared to over here though. You know, like Vancouver's big. That's why it's kind of factors in. But the, um, you know, like the Albertans, you know, they're, 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 it's not a very big population there. And then the Saskatchewan, not a very big population there. Uh, and BC, most of BC is on, literally in the Vancouver area. You know, there's some smaller cities, but, uh, as you know from Truck Simulator, but, uh, um, you know, the majority of the population is definitely in the, in the Vancouver area and on the island. You know, like the capital is actually Victoria, which is on the island, but Vancouver is way bigger. Like Vancouver is like, I think it's considered the second largest city in Canada. Like Toronto is the first largest. And I think it's Vancouver after that. But, uh, well, I don't know. We'll see. See if old Trudeau's having a party. I heard he's going to resign, though, if he doesn't get his majority. There's rumor of that. He might have PM Freeland or something. BC is dominating Alberta, Saskatchewan, Manitoba. Well, that's not really surprising. That's why, you know, like, Alberta always wanted to separate, you know, but they want BC to go with them. But BC is not... It's not going to be PC. I mean, the, 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 the island's not PC. Or not the island, the uh, Vancouver area is, um, is more not conservative Vancouver has four to five PC is there anybody got people's parties yet and do they get any seats old Maxime was uh, looked like he was giving up on his Quebec seat you know he's campaigning in Saskatchewan All these people watching there, like, get plan. No. Talking politics. <laughs> Not hardcore politics, though. I, you know, my prediction beforehand was, though, that, that I, you know, it would be in Trudeau's favor. So they'll either be a liberal minority or liberal majority, but uh, um, 
I didn't think O'Toole would beat him. So far, BC is liberal and NDP heavy. Well, that sounds about normal. There's lots of NDP votes last time. You know what's confusing too, Julian? I'll tell you about BC. And this can work sometimes for the Nationals and sometimes not for the National parties. But the big parties for provincial politics here is you got NDP and you got the Liberal Party, the BC Liberal Party. And you know who, who backs the L BC Liberal Party? The Federal Conservatives. Because that's not confusing at all. So really, there is Liberal Party too, but it's not very really big, provincially. So, you know, people will sometimes they'll see, oh, Liberals, you know, and then they'll think either the provincial liberals or the provincial um, provincial liberals are doing good or the provincial liberals are doing bad. And then they'll wind up either voting for or against Trudeau and vice versa. So, you know, when they're having their, their provincial election, sometimes they'll vote BC liberals because they think Justin Trudeau was doing good sometimes they might vote against because they think he's doing bad but really BC Liberals are not associated with the federal Liberals they're associated with the federal Conservatives so that's kind of confusing for a lot of people they don't understand the history there like there's there's some YouTube videos on it but it's like a merging thing that happened you know how those parties merge all the time you know like how there was in Alberta there was Wild Rose Party and the, conservatives and then they join together and you know that kind of stuff but they they don't know people don't know they also vote very face value at stuff too right you know a lot of people will vote a certain way because they, they they're not not because of the issues but just because of um you know, they want to get rid of a guy or whatever, right? You know, they're... They're like, oh, I don't like Trudeau, so then they might... Go to O'Toole, regardless of knowing what even what O'Toole stands for or doesn't stand for. I think it's good to at least be aware... You know, of the different candidates' platforms. It's probably good for everybody that could do a little bit of reading. You know, as well as the what the local guys are talking about, you know. So, I do like O'Toole better than I like Cheer, but, um, you know, there's some policies of his I don't particularly care for. I think that, uh, Conservatives don't necessarily do, wouldn't do necessarily a great job on stuff like the pandemic, but hopefully we're over that enough if they do get in. And we're kind of lucky that uh, we had a liberal minority actually uh, during the, the, the height of the pandemic here in Canada, I think, because the NDP pushed them left. I don't think we would have been seeing such a good Serb if the Liberals had a majority um, or if the Conservatives were in. I think that Serb helped a lot. The Canadian Emergency Relief Benefit. Um, I think that 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 uh, if NDP had had a majority they would have did that but I, I think that NDP really had an influence there. But, uh, you know, I like some of Jagmeet's policies, though. I'd like to see a national dental plan. That'd be awesome. I'm covered by work, but I think that, you know, healthy teeth uh, make everybody healthier overall. 
So, you know, hopefully if uh, we get another minority, then maybe they can push them into that, you know? And, uh, you know, some of the other things in you know, a little bit of importance on the environment is good too, probably. But we will see. But we will find out tonight sometime, I guess. Julian's keeping an eye on things. But anyway, I don't know, I gotta work tomorrow. I'll probably watch a little bit of election stuff and hit the hay. If you haven't followed yet, please do so. It would be awesome if you did. Check out the YouTube link on the video description. Um, follow that too. Like, you know, subscribe. If you want to uh, subscribe here, feel free, of course. But it costs money. But at least with their policy right now, it all goes towards the creator. So I like that part. If... Uh, you want to check me out normally, 7 o'clock Pacific time is the best time to check. I'm a variety streamer. Been playing Conan, hockey on Fridays. Playing I've been playing lawn mowing game here for two days here. Um let's review the poll. So mower bag is the winner. 54%. That's crazy. Ran ahead, eh? Um, 31% for mulching. I'd be in that camp, to be honest. I, I, I mulch. I hate having to dump the bag every 20 feet. Uh, rake it up 15%. So some people will go bagless, I guess. Nothing beats the sidewalk. 0%. So I guess people are tidy. That's a good thing. It was just kind of a joke option, though. But anyway, thank you everybody for being here, for inviting your viewers, Hydra earlier, everybody who hung out, talk, talked, who liked, who participated in the poll, anything you did at all. If you watched now, if you watched after the fact here, um, that's awesome. Thank you so much for spending some time with me. Well, hopefully we'll see you again tomorrow and... Uh, you have yourselves a good night.